Welcome to Signing Day Coverage, presented by West 10 Media, where we showcase some of the best student athletes securing their college future. Remember to like, subscribe, and if you hadn't already, hit that notification bell. Enjoy the video. So clap it up for Travion. Three. Yeah, that's cute. Hi, it's Thomas Ellis Jr. here with another signing day. I feel like I've been here before. I was here last week for another month for Cougar. Now I'm here for Travion Hawkins. Congratulations. You're heading off to Campbellsville, Kentucky as well. Yes, sir. How does it feel, man? How are you signing day? Uh, it feels good. It's like a surreal feeling, like as a child, like growing up, dreaming about this, and now it's here. You know what I'm now, your mom, she told me a little something. Are you people in Millington? He was a Millington Trojan at one point, SYS football. Yeah. So y'all can take a little credit. Ooh, he, he didn't like saying that. <laughs> but you beat him in the Eminem Bowl those times, so he had a great senior Eminem Bowl against him. So you, you, you are one for cool, we know. But when did you start to love the game and develop that passion? Well, I always loved it as a young kid, but as I grow older, I gained to love it more than I did. And like, when you like get an understanding for the game, that's what I did. And it starts. Now, when you came on to this campus, you know, you're playing both sides of the ball. Defense, you started making 9 but you gravitate towards the offensive side. What clicked for you from sophomore year to junior year to senior year? Uh, what really clicked for me is, like, as playing, like, defense, I was, like, playing defense and stuff and, like, getting the, like, plays, making plays and stuff. But then, like, I always wanted to play offense, though. I loved offense, but then, Coach gave me a shot on offense, and I did what I did. You literally ran with it. Yeah, I ran with it. <laughs> yeah, this is a running school, man, and you were one of the, the, the two-part, two-head monster here. Talk about the putting up the numbers. You know, Coach Calhoun said you won some games. You carried this team at times. When they gave the ball, they trusted you. Talk about, you know, just having that ability and Coach trusting you like that. Uh, well, it's a good feeling, like, to have a coach have so much trust in you and being able to like put the game all on you, but it kind of puts a lot of pressure on you at the same time. But being able to like win games for a team and all this and all that, it just feels good. Now I know getting to know you over the years, preparation during the week, you had a lot of system coaches that stayed on you, ride your heart, maybe even one nearby that, that kept you in line. Talk about taking their coaching and how it prepared you for the next level. Well, yeah, when I first came here, I really didn't know much about football, but they taught me much, so much about the game and like all the coaching, I just absorbed it like a sponge and I took everything they gave me and I just applied it to the game. Now talking to mom, Miss Cynthia, she said some things you didn't have to be taught. You knew this. Mm -hmm. It's just part of your personality, who you are. I guess having four other siblings mm -hmm. and being near the oldest, being responsible. Talk about you know being responsible for your teammates and I want to let them down because of that family type atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Well, the team, everybody on the team, we're pretty much like all brothers and not letting them down. I would just like, in the game, say if like I just scored, I wouldn't do something to like cause them to like bring the touchdown back or if somebody else scored, I wouldn't like get a late hit in or anything like that. I would just keep my composure. Now, who's, who are your tougher teammates? The Cougars or, or your brothers and sisters? I'm gonna say my brothers and sisters. Okay, okay. <laughs> just being honest, they're just being honest. They keep you on your toes. But they're gonna have to say goodbye to you soon because you're gonna be heading out. You had a chance to go further, but you chose Campbellsville. Why? Well, I chose Campbellsville because it was closer to home and I didn't want to be too far off from my family. Oh, that, that's so sweet. And mom had that you get that full ride. Yeah. Yeah, so I know they brought a smile to your face, bring a smile to her face too. So, what do you hope to do once you get up there and you got a teammate going up there with you? What do y'all hope to accomplish up there? Uh, when we go to the campus, we're going to make a name for ourselves as soon as we get there. That's what we plan on doing. And um, carrying that name right there? Mm -hmm. On our bet. Man, what well, I appreciate, I think you're going to uh, fulfill it. Man, we, we, we're just glad that you're heading out to the next level. You took time to share that with the Millington Star. And, man, congratulations. And best of luck. Thank you.